To start my Indabelle painting, I chose one that I kind of wanted to copy. I could change some things here and there, but I'm mostly going to copy that design. So although you don't need to measure things, you'll definitely want to use your ruler to get things straight so that it looks nicer. So you're not trying to just make up a line and then it gets kind of crooked and a little bit crazy. So right now I'm just going through that process with my pencil of making those designs with my ruler. When you're done with your pencil, you're going to trace all of those lines with a black Sharpie. If there's anything you want to fill in with your Sharpie or make a line a little bit thicker, you could do that. Or you could always go back and do that later as well. Just make sure you're taking your time on this, trying to keep those lines straight since you used your ruler before. So now I'm going to use colored Sharpies to fill these in. Something to notice about the Indabelle paintings is that sometimes they have balance where something is a color on one side and it's the same on the other and sometimes that doesn't happen. So just kind of pay attention to what yours looks like. You don't need to copy the colors exactly as they are on the painting. That's up to you. You get to decide that but just something to think about and when you are coloring in with your sharpie make sure you're taking your time filling it in and not scribbling because usually you can see those marks really well when you use a sharpie 